For hundreds of years, First Nations people suffered under a broken system, giving power over their lives to a distant government in Ottawa. And what has Ottawa done? Left communities in poverty with substandard housing, unsafe drinking water, and unemployment. It has been a disaster for these communities. Section 2 of the Indian Act gives all control over reserve land and money to the federal government. Revenues from resource projects on First Nations land often go to Ottawa, forcing First Nations people to go there and ask for them back. That puts power and control in the hands of bureaucrats, politicians, lobbyists, and not the grassroots people in the communities. It's time to change. That's why Conservatives have announced consultations with First Nations and industry groups on a new optional revenue model that would guarantee First Nations communities more direct money from resource projects on their lands. This proposed model will not impact any nation's treaty rights, inerrant rights, self-government agreements, or rights under Section 35 of the Constitution legal claims, or funding agreements with ISC. It's time to get Ottawa busybodies out of the way. Put First Nations back in control of their money to defeat poverty and provide for their people.